Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create an app that automatically takes the input uh, from a text field and updates the screen or updates a label with that text. So to get started we're going to uh, create a new application and it's going to be a single view application and we're going to hit next and uh, we're going to call this one uh, delegate demo. Uh, one, the big thing that we're going to learn about today is actually how to use delegates in iOS. Uh, so uh, delegates are a very powerful tool. They allow you to delegate uh, different uh, tasks to uh, different parts of the program and it helps you to keep your code nice and clean and organized and so uh, delegates are a great way of being able to uh, to create powerful iOS apps so uh, we're going to learn how to do it here with this uh, pretty simple application first thing to do is go to main storyboard and we can hide this left hand side to give us some more room and we have our view controller and to start off we're going to get a label and then we're going to get a text field and we're going to drag both of these as far as they can go just so we have plenty of room to play with I'm going to center that and the label, I'm going to make it nice and big. I'll get rid of the text and then change the color and the size. So we have a nice big label. And that's all we need to do here, or in adding those. Uh, what, uh, the first thing that we have to do to create the delegate is actually to sign it. And it's uh, most easily done here in the storyboard. So the delegate's going to be assigned to this text field. And to do it, you click on Control, then click on the text field, and then drag it. And you're going to drag it right down here to this uh, view controller icon and let go. And you have all these different things. You could do an action segue, but what we want is the outlet. And we want to uh, the delegate outlet for this. So what this essentially means is we can use any of the built-in delegate methods and apply them directly to this text field, as you'll see. Um, it may kind of seem like magic in the very beginning, but the more you use it, the more it'll make sense. So uh, we'll go through that. Uh, next, open up the uh, code pane, and we'll hide this on the right-hand side. And uh, open up the, uh, it can say, uh, view, it, yours may say viewcontroller.h, mine says myviewcontroller.h, uh, just because I assigned that custom variable. Um, okay, so the to create these attributes, we need to click on the label click control and then drag right below interface and this first one we're just going to call my label and we want it to be strong non-atomic and it's an IB outlet and next thing we're going to do is do the same thing here drag it right below and you can see this is another outlet and here we're just going to call it text field and there we go. That's all we need to do for the uh, for the .h file. So now we're going to go up to .m, and you can see we have our normal uh, you know normal code that comes with it. And to create or to set up a delegate, uh, you need to add some text right here. And we're going to say self dot text field because that's what we called our text field uh, we could have called it anything but we called self dot text field dot delegate equals self and that's all the text that we need to put inside of that um, inside of that view did load method and I'm going to check this warning it says assigning to ID UI I text field delegate. Okay, and there's a 
good reason this came up. There was one other thing we had to do in the .h file, and we had to switch over. We'll switch over the view controller. Any time that you want to use a uh, a delegate, you have to put in a uh, you have to put it into your H file. So uh, click on uh, right next to where it says UI view controller and then uh, do start these brackets and do UI text field delegate and it finishes it off for us right there. And so if that's been added, now let's go back to our view controller.m file and we should see that that Air disappeared. Perfect. So that's all working properly now. And so the next thing we're going to do is actually create the delegate. So we're just going to come down uh, right below the view did load method and we're going to start off with the declaration and we're going to uh, say uh, bool because uh, this delegate uh, returns a, uh, a yes or a no or true or a false, so uh, it's going to be a bool. And we want this to be text field. And then the next thing is going to be, uh, you can see it is auto correct or auto completing it for us. Uh, text field, and then we have a uh, semicolon UI text field uh, points to text field should change character in range, uh, ns range, range, uh, replacement string, ns string, and string. So that gave us literally everything we needed right there. So it's nice and easy. And you'll see in a second what all that means. So we uh, put in our uh, block right here. And what we need to do is create a variable. And we're going to say ns string. And then we're going to point to a variable called updated string. And set that equal to text field dot text. And then the function that or the message we're going to send to it is string by replacing. Let's see if this is the right one. Uh, uh, no, that's not the right one. Uh, replacing. We want a. We don't. Do we want occurrences? No, we want character. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, characters in range, and the range is just going to be range, and then the ns string is, let's see, what are we going to, uh, with string, oh, and this is, uh, we called it string up top, so just match it up to that, and in that statement, and now the next thing we're going to do is just set the label equal to that. So we're going to do self dot my label dot text equal to updated string. And then because this is a Boolean expression, we have to return something. So we're going to return yes. Okay. So to kind of, before we even test this out, to just go through it, uh, the method call, and this is something that's built in, this would not work if we hadn't created the delegate and set uh, this text field uh, and pointed it to a delegate and then uh, set it up in the .h file. So that's very important to know. Uh, but what it does is it brings along a lot of methods. And so the method that we used is this one this text field and then uh, should change characters and range. And what that means is it's going to change the characters of whatever uh, range it's being given, which is everything in this text field, because you could limit the range. You could say, I only want them to be able to put 10 characters in or something like that if you want to limit it. Um, but we let the range wide open and then we, uh, we're saying that it's a string and then we're passing all of that into this text field text and then we're storing it in the updated string and then we're just pointing it straight to self.mylabel.text so we'll see if this works uh, that is a little bit of programming um, so we're going to start this up it says build succeeded so that's good no compile errors 
and it's oh, starting up and so we have our text field oh you know what I'm I put that in a bad spot so let me move this up I'm gonna move everything up just to be safe and I'll start it up again there we go it's much better so click on that and I'm just gonna type my name in and as you can see right there it automatically updates and it even works for backspace too so you can delete that and so I could do my name and then delete it and so you can uh, you can imagine all the different things you could use this for so uh, this is this by itself isn't the most functional or most powerful kind of tool, but what we did was we learned how to use delegates with this. So we learned how we can take something. We didn't have to put anything except this one line of code in the view did load method. We also didn't have to, if you noticed with other methods, uh, usually you'd have to create IB action methods and things like that. We didn't have to do anything like that. All we did was we declared the delegate. We went to the .h file and put it right in here. And you could put multiple delegates there. If you have a very complicated app, you could have a dozen different delegates. They're just separated by commas in these brackets. And then that automatically brought in all of its methods and all of its attributes. So it's a very, uh, very powerful uh, tool. And uh, the one thing that you may notice when you're typing, and as you're typing, it's auto updating. If you hit return or you click on the screen, you notice how the keyboard doesn't move at all. In our next video, uh, we're going to see how we can continue to use delegates and how to hide the keyboard when you hit return or when you click anywhere else on the screen. So stay tuned for that.